So, if you've ever wondered what a star looks like when it's collapsing in on itself, here's Charlie Sheen. You borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah, because it just, it fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. Last time I took drugs, um, I probably took more than, than, than anybody could survive, you know? What are we um, talking about? How much? I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed. I have one gear. Go. And I was banging seven gram rocks. If you've not been following the public self-destruction of Carlos Erwin Estevez, I urge you to do so, as he's his best work since Hot Shots Part 2. <laughs> You'll have missed such lyrical peaches as his fire-breathing fists, gnarling narlingtons, and his insistence that he's in a drug called Charlie Sheen. If you took it, you would die, and your children would weep over the exploded head. Jesus Christ, if two and a half men was ever anything approaching that good, I would be pre-ordered on the Region 5 box sets. I kind of think it might actually just all be a sophisticated satirical comment on the behalf of Sheen. Because if you were given 1.8 million an episode for something that shit, you would respond by spending it on losing your mind through drugs and hookers. Mmm, hookers. It all sounds hilarious until you see his face and realise that he's now just a twitching death mask of that guy out of Wall Street. It looks so gaunt and taut. It looks like it'll rip it any minute and Coco come pouring out like a burst hoover. He never ever blinks like he thinks he's starring in the porn version of Silence of the Lambs as Hannibal Lichter. <laughs> the truth is he doesn't have time to blink because clearing mucus build up from your tear ducts is for losers, man! The thing is I'm actually now addicted to the drug called Charlie Sheen because I now spend most nights wondering what it looks like inside the millionaire lunatic's mind. I imagine it's like climbing inside a Sherman tank that runs in cocaine and driving it straight into the Playboy Mansion with a whaling net. No one she blows! Now for a movie review, and it's Ironclad, a rollicking medieval siege movie, a bit like Assault in Precinct 13 with Chainmail. Minimal character development, maximum axe wounds. Steady on, Charlie, I mean real axe wounds. Get him. It stars James Purifoy, Paul Giamatti, Mackenzie Crook, and the always awesome Brian Cox. You wish he was your dad! Although the film makes for passable grimy action, the actual fight sequences are often rendered dizzying due to the overuse of close-up eye-fucking shaky cam. You never quite know whose limbs are getting chopped in half in showers of gore. The film is awash with blood, and it makes me wonder, with this being a 15, what does it take to get an 18 rating these days? Forced bill chugging analingus? Nah, no, wait, that's already been done with the human centipede. Oh, that's what it looks like inside Charlie Sheen's mind. Ah. 